Curriculum Theory and Organization Development, I like to talk about Kurt Levin. Kurt Levin was born in the year 1890 and died at 57 years in 1947. He is known to have contributed a large number of things that influenced the organizational psychology in the last uh, 50 to 75 years. Kurt Levin is known for his uh, studies on uh, leadership styles. He, along with uh, Ron Lippitt and a number of others at uh, University of Michigan and so on, uh, formulated the leadership uh, climate and identified three distinct types of leadership styles and their climate. The authoritarian leadership style, the democratic or participative leadership style, or laissez-faire, or uh, namesake kind of a leadership style. They did a number of experiments and proved the output under different kind of circumstances with these three leadership styles. Another most important contribution of Kurt Levin was his uh, force field analysis uh, in which he says that any given issue or a problem can be conceptualized as the resultant of two opposite types of forces acting on it. One he called as facilitating forces or the forces that drive you to move towards the goal which you have in mind. Any given situation should be conceptualized as a situation that is arising out of a desire to reach a particular goal and your current location of where you are depends upon these facilitating forces, the forces that are acting on you to move towards the goal and the opposite set of forces are a set of forces that are acting on you or preventing you from moving towards the goal. So these he conceptualized as uh, facilitating forces and restraining forces or factors facilitating our behavior to reach the goal and hindering the factors. This conceptualization of, of any given situation uh, by identifying factors or forces that are acting at a given point of time help us to move faster towards the goal by weakening the inhibiting forces or hindering forces and strengthening the facilitating forces or adding new forces that can help you to move towards the goal to which you want to move. Uh, this has been used in a lot of creativity workshops subsequently to help people to bring organizational change. In fact, I think Kurt Levin's biggest contribution has been in initiating change. He was invited sometime in the year 1946 to help uh, the local government in fighting prejudice. Uh, I think this was from when he was at uh, MIT. Uh, in uh, formulating his theories of fighting prejudice, he worked with a whole lot of groups and he used a methodology which later became uh, known as an action research methodology. That is the methodology which says that you try out different alternative solutions for solving a particular kind of a problem. And as you are trying out the alternatives, plan the alternatives, keep documenting these alternatives, see the result and on the basis of the result reformulate and then rework your whole orientation to problem solving and so on. So action research is nothing but, I think, uh, acting in a planned way, documenting, seeing the results and reorienting on the basis of the results, whatever actions that you want to take and so on. This is the major contribution Kurt Levin has made. Also formulated the theory that of all change occurs in three stages. The first stage he called as unfreezing. That means I think you should open yourself up for change. And in fact, I think the, this entire change process of unfreezing and for their movement towards a desired goal, and then once you have come to a particular stage, refreezing or uh, saying that, look, this is uh, the end of this particular phase and uh, so on. And that is what is the change process 
it also got resulted in sensitivity training. Kurt Levin is known, is the founder, or in fact he is known as uh, the father of the modern social psychology or organizational psychology and uh, things like that. So he established the National Training Laboratories in, uh, by conducting a series of workshops uh, for bringing change at Bethel. Now the, this, is the, uh, this is the starting of the sensitivity training movement. Uh, sensitivity training movement dealt with creating the group as a mirror. You participate in a, a group and discuss uh, a number of uh, issues. Of course, eventually I think the T-group training or the, called as the sensitivity training resulted in making one sensitive to one's own inner desires, inner feelings, inner thoughts and the impact one makes on the surroundings by using the group as a mirror and uh, helping uh, oneself to rediscover or reorient on the basis of whatever feedback that one receives and so on. So Kurt Levin therefore is known to have initiated so many uh, things starting with uh, the National Training Laboratories at Bethel, the uh, Action Research Movement, Force Field Analysis as a, as a, as a technique and uh, most importantly he has given a very important equation for understanding human behavior. His equation says behavior is always a function of uh, two things. One, the person uh, himself or herself and the environment. So B is equal to F within brackets, uh, P, uh, comma E and bracket closed. I mean that is the kind of a formula that he has given to say that our personality at any given point of time is a consequence of both our inborn qualities, whatever we have acquired till then, and the environment in which we are operating. So it is the consequence of both the uh, person-environment interaction that we exhibit certain kind of uh, behaviors and uh, things like that. I think this is a very important kind of uh, uh, equation that uh, uh, Kurt Levin has given. So Kurt Levin is even remembered today for all these uh, contributions that he has made and he continues to be a very influencing organizational theorist and a psychologist uh, for having uh, founded this uh, theory uh, which has uh, quite a bit of its roots on subsequently what, ha what has come to be known as a gestalt theory looking at the whole uh, rather than only merely looking at the parts and so on. So it is very nice to remember Kurt Levin. I think those of you who are interested could uh, read a lot more about Kurt Levin. And if by chance you have attended the T group training of the Indian Society for Applied Behavioral Sciences, uh, you would have learned quite a bit about sensitivity training and so on. So all the best uh, from TVRLS for uh, your pursuits to understand psychology and psychologists.